Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going through the load more component. Let's load more items on the same page using Webflow pagination. By default, when we use Webflow pagination, when I click this next button, it's going to show the next eight items on a page two, page three, page four, page five, and so on. Most people don't want this type of experience and they want these items to show up directly under the eight items that we're looking at right now. So we built this library component with that in mind. As I click this next button, it's going to load the next eight right under the previous eight. And I've set this specific list to 45. And when we get to project 45, this button is going to go away. Nice, and that's it. We're loading more items using Webflow pagination on the same page. We just loaded eight at a time. Now we're going to load 50 at a time. It's the same setup, it's the same process, it's the same code. I'm just showing you that it works. Here we are showing 50 items. Let's go to next and we're going to now show the next 50 items. And please know that this is not a visual trick. This is not just showing and hiding items. We are actually loading these items on the page. So project 151 is not on the page right now. It's not an inspector. You won't be able to find it. When I click next, we are going to bring 151 to 200 on the page. Before we move into designer, I want to show you this actually working through inspector. We are not just showing and hiding items. This is not display none, display block. This is actually loading more. And I'm gonna prove it here inside Inspector. Right now, we are showing eight items. You can see them lighting up here on the left side. When I load the page, there's eight items. We have our pagination wrapper, our pagination button. When I go and click next, it's going to load eight more. And if I go back to Inspector, we'll see eight more have loaded onto the page. And if I go do that again, we're going to add more to this list. They're actually coming onto the page through Webflow CMS. And when I continue to go next, this button's going to disappear. Let's see what it looks like inside Inspector. It's gone, that's it. The user can't click it, they can't interact with it. There's no more items to load, so there's no reason for us to show that button. So this is confirmed working through Inspector. Now we can go into Designer, see how this is set up. We're in Designer, we have a dynamic list on the page, and that dynamic list is set to paginate items at eight items per page. That means we are going to show eight items originally on load, and then we're going to load eight items when we click the load more button. This number can be whatever you want. If I were to put 10 here, we're going to show 10 items, and then on next, we're going to load 10 more items. In this example, we're gonna keep it at eight. We're limiting items to 45. Once we get through all 45 items, we are going to hide this button, and please know that you have to have the same amount of items showing as you are loading. That means you can't show 20 items and then load 10, or show 50 items and load 20. If you're showing 50, you have to load 50. If you're showing eight, you have to load eight. You must use Webflow pagination here. This is not going to work if you try to fake it or set up a pagination type layout. It must be native Webflow pagination. And that's all we have to do in terms of setting up this structure. Now we need to have two important classes applied to this in order for us to use the JavaScript to target this dynamic list. The first one is going to be on this collection list. This is not the collection list wrapper. This is different. Collection list wrapper, we don't care about. We care about this next child element the collection list, and we've conveniently given it a class of collection dash list. We're going to be using this in the custom code in order to target this specific dynamic list. The next class that we need is a class on the next button. Please know that we don't care about the previous button since we are 
loading these items right underneath, there is no previous. We're not showing it on the page. It's automatically hidden. You can't go back. So we have our load more button class applied to the next pagination button. And again, please make sure this is the actual pagination button. We have our pagination wrapper. We have our next element. This cannot be a div. It must be the pagination next button. And with this class and the class on the collection list, we are going to be able to run the load more component. Here we are in custom code. We are before the closing body tag. And the first thing we're going to do is put the F and Suite CMS library script on the page. As you can see, this is not the real script file. When we launch this library, we'll have a hosted script file ready for you to use. And next we are going to run our script specific to our site. The first thing we do here is run a function, which will happen immediately on load. And what it's going to do is create a new FS library. This is a new instance of the FS library. And that FS library instance is going to target the collection list class. This is the class that we gave to that middle element, the collection list of the dynamic list. All of this new library instance is going to be held in a variable called projects grid. And now we can use projects grid later on in the script to target or to, to call on this new library instance. And we're doing that right here. We have our projects grid variable that we just created, and we're going to run the load more component on it. And here in load more, we have to define our button. Again, this must be the native Webflow pagination next button, and it's the class that we gave it, load more button. You can use any class here as long as it is the pagination next button. And next we have animation. If you don't want animation, no problem. You can go and remove that. We do want animation. We want a nice little fade in. So we're going to enable true, duration of 500, ease out, and fade with a translation of 20 pixels on the Y axis. If you are not sure how to write out these effects to use this animation part of the script, you can go ahead and use the script generator that we have to really put any type of animation into this load more. That's it, that's all we're doing. The, the code here for show eight is the same as show 50. You can see here, we are not changing. I should go and add this fake script over here to the 50 but it's, it's the same exact thing. It doesn't matter how many items you're showing, it's the same exact step. We have our two classes, we're defining them here, and now we can load items on the same page. Nice. That's effing sweet.